Welcome nutrition navigators. Ever wondered how your food choices can directly influence your blood pressure levels? High blood pressure, often lurking silently, is a leading cause of heart disease, strokes and kidney disease. Yet, it's alarming that over half of the people grappling with high blood pressure do not have it under control. Today, we're going to delve into the world of diet and its relationship to blood pressure, highlighting foods you might want to avoid if you have high blood pressure. Our bodies need a pinch of sodium, but too much of it is a recipe for disaster, especially for those with high blood pressure. The recommended sodium intake should be less than 1,500 milligrams per day for those with high blood pressure. So let's navigate through the maze of food choices that can impact your blood pressure. This is not just about avoiding certain foods. It's about embracing a healthier lifestyle. So a common enemy in our diet is sodium, but where is it hiding? Well, one of the main places you'll find sodium is in canned foods. The preservatives used in these products are packed with sodium, which can contribute to high blood pressure. And it's not just canned soups or beans, even canned vegetables like diced tomatoes and creamed corn can be deceptive in their sodium content. Next up on our list are deli meats. Yes, they're convenient and tasty, but they can contain nitrites and high amounts of sodium. Just one serving can contain up to 600 milligrams of sodium. That's nearly half of the daily recommended intake for those with high blood pressure. Pickles, while low in calories, are another high sodium food. A single sour pickle can contain up to 1,500 milligrams of sodium. That's your entire day's worth in one crunchy bite. Condiments are another sodium hideout. Ketchup, mayonnaise, hot sauce, they all often contain high levels of sodium. So, those extra squirts on your burger or sandwich can really add up. Fast food, as many of us know, is also typically high in sodium and calories. A single meal can often exceed your daily sodium limit, contributing to high blood pressure. Microwave meals, even those marketed as healthy or lean, can also be sodium traps. They're convenient, yes, but often loaded with sodium to enhance flavor and preserve freshness. And let's not forget about snacks. High sodium snacks like chips and pretzels can quickly add up in sodium content. A small bag can contain more than a third of your daily limit. Finally, let's talk about canned vegetables. They may seem like a healthy choice, but they often contain more sodium than you'd expect. Now, a crucial part of managing your sodium intake is being aware of serving sizes. It's easy to eat more than the recommended portion, and with it, a lot more sodium. Remember, hidden sodium is a silent contributor to high blood pressure, so read those labels. Sodium isn't the only culprit. There are other foods that can spike your blood pressure. Alcohol, for instance, is a tricky one. While a glass of red wine can be heart healthy, excessive consumption can increase blood pressure and damage blood vessels. It is essential to find a balance and moderation is the key. Switching gears to red meat, particularly marbled and fatty cuts like ribeye, they are not only high in calories and fat, but also sodium. Opting for leaner cuts or other protein sources like poultry or fish can be a healthier alternative. Processed foods, another common offender, are typically high in sodium and fats. Bacon and hot dogs, for example, are loaded with sodium. It's always better to choose fresh whole foods whenever possible. Let's not forget about high sugar foods. They can lead to weight gain, which can exacerbate high blood pressure. Try to limit your intake of sweets and opt for fruits when you have a sweet tooth. Frozen diet meals can be a wolf in sheep's clothing. They may be low in calories, but can still be high in sodium. Always read the labels and look for options with less sodium. And finally, fried foods. They are loaded with sodium, trans fats and saturated fats. A healthier alternative is to grill or bake your foods. Consulting with dietitians and physicians can provide a better understanding of moderation and alternatives. They can guide you to make healthier food choices that can help control your blood pressure. So, making educated choices is the key to managing high blood pressure effectively. Navigating through these food choices may seem daunting, but remember, your health is worth it. Dietary changes are a crucial step in controlling high blood pressure and being aware of your sodium intake can make a world of difference. Thank you for joining us on this journey. Please hit the thumbs up button right now to let YouTube know this content is appreciated. That will help get this content out to those who may need it. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. This is your Nutrition Navigator signing off.